and it is time for NaNoWriMo week three. Let's jump right into it. Ten twenty three on Tuesday morning. I should have started the vlog on Monday, but as I have learned, Mondays do not work for me. I did not write on Monday which is fine, it is what it is. I got other things done, I got my meeting done, I got my goals done for the week. Today I write. Refocus myself, my goal for this vlog is to get to 50K. I'm currently at 37,269. I can do that this week, I know I can. I have plenty of sprints to do, I have plenty of time. Um, I just need to commit to like actually doing the dang thing. I had forgotten that when I left off on the sprint Sunday night with Amber and Allie, I was crying. Uh, the scene was kind of breaking me and I sat down and I started writing again this morning and I started crying again and I was like, damn it, I keep forgetting that I'm at these like parts and this book I think has made me cry during writing it more than either of the other two. You saw some of my vlog from highlights. I was sobbing uncontrollably. Amber was like handing me tissues. It was an ugly ugly sob um but it's okay i mean it's not it's it's good that it's making me feel something because that means it's gonna make you guys feel something hopefully and again this is a fast draft process so this stuff might not stay all the way through to the end but hopefully Ten forty on Tuesday night. Mm, I wrote today, so I'm not mad about it. I've made some progress. I think I finished a couple chapters today, almost to my midpoint. Almost, not quite. Almost. I have forty thousand five hundred and sixty-two words, which puts me at three thousand seven hundred and fifty-five for today. So I made up for not writing it all yesterday. I broke forty k, which is good because my goal for this whole entire week is to hit. 50. I want to be at 50 by the end of the weekend. I've been really struggling with making sure that I stay in the moment instead of worrying about like something 20 steps ahead. I did voice some frustrations over the seeming value of this advent calendar to Amber and I had spoiled myself on it last year. This year I didn't want to. I was trying to really avoid spoilers so Amber went and watched some spoiler <laughs> unboxings and she was like the comments in it are like, this does not seem like the one. <laughs> it was better last year. The value doesn't seem like it's there. So, you know, we will see. I have boxes 15 and 16 to get to today. This is the most empty feeling, MFing thing I've ever felt in my whole, like it's a sample. You can tell how empty it is. Anyway, this is the Ren Clean Skin Care Overnight Glow Dark Spot Sleeping Cream Creme de Nut. Nope. Day 16 is, oh, it fell out. It fell out all over me. Okay. It smells amazing. It is um, rhubarb and custard bath fizzer. It is just, is it a single bath bomb? It is, and it is shaped like, it's shaped like something. This is from Bubble Tea Bath and Body. It's a bath bomb. It's a single bath bomb. For external use only, if irritation occurs, please discontinue use. It's one bath bomb. How do you discontinue the use? Julie from Wednesday night at 9.20. I am joining Jessica and Sam in the Worldwide Brightathon Sprints. Some days you just don't want to do it, but you sit down and you do it anyway. That is it for today because it's 10:40 and I'm just tired. So let me get my flipping advent calendar. I got to 1,662 words for the day, which puts me at 42,224 words. Is it great? No. Is it okay? Yes. Uh, tomorrow I should have a little bit more time to write during the day, and then at night I get home earlier, um, and I will be joining Ally Sprints on Twitch. So hopefully I can get some more done. I have to consistently look at this calendar because I always forget what day it is. Here is 17. 
tiny tube. Is it, oh man, I really thought this was like mascara or something fun. It's not. This is the Stress Check Mood Manager Motion Activated Aromatherapy Spray to create a soothing, balanced atmosphere wherever you are. Tea tree? What does that smell? Oh, oh no. I'm gonna go. It's time for bed. It is almost 11 o'clock on Thursday night. I got a total of 1,795 words for a total of 44,019 words. I decided to do an unhaul. So I've got unhaul books over here that'll be coming up soon. It's down here. Oh, nope. Ooh. It's large-ish, but it is a container. I'm gonna go with a face cream. It is not. Are you kidding me? This is the Christoph Robin. I thought this was gonna be like a face lotion cream something no it's a scrub it's a cleansing purifying scrub it's just a salt scrub um i have a hair scrub uh -uh. what the second ingredient is sulfates which strip hair of color like i don't i can't use this it's gonna like literally scrub the purple right out of my hair which i'm not Maybe I don't hate. Maybe I'll save this for when I decide to like finally let go of the purple and I need to just like cleanse it from my head. I'm not, I'm not putting a salt scrub on my head. I think I'm really excited to finish these scenes because I know they're the big pivotal like exciting scenes and to leave book three on those feeling really, really good, which I assume I will about the writing and about the story and feeling like I have the big action things done. I think I'll feel really good because like I feel really good about the scene that I'm writing right now. So I would assume that that's gonna continue for the other really big scenes that I have to write. Then I can leave book three like feeling accomplished in the big moments. And then I'll be able to flush out some of the smaller ones um, later and get back into book two. Because when I tell you that like shit happens in book two, like a lot goes on and I just, I'm really excited for it. So I am kind of stoked to get back into that sooner than expected and, and start working on it and looking for editors and getting the ball rolling on getting that out to you. So it's not the worst thing in the world. And I'm glad that I can see the positive in strategically quitting something that's not working. It's 11.30 on Friday night and I have about a thousand words, 45,113. I have writing sprints tomorrow from 11 o'clock till question mark. And then my live stream for A Curse and Ash, the spoilery chat at night. Um, and then sprints again on Sunday night. I know I'm going to get to the 50k, a tentative nano goal, which I know is not important, but I just kind of want to hit and I still have some stuff that I need to write anyway. The scenes that I'm writing are working. So I still feel good about my decision to write these larger scenes and then call it quits and go back to book two. I'm still okay with that. But I am still going to pull today's calendar because I'm still ahead of schedule and a thousand words is not nothing and I know I'm going to get over 2k tomorrow for sure so I'm not going to stress over it I'm going to pull day number 19 is today the 19th I tweaked something in my neck today's the 19th I'm gonna pull the 19th I have you up on the tripod because I was filming a book on haul earlier and I'm not taking you back down 19 let's see what we have it is the tiniest thing again this is the Dragon's Blood by Rodale. Rodile? Rodial. Rodial. Sculpting Gel. Here's the thing. The Dragon's Blood cleanser that we got from this company, I freaking loved. I used it for the longest time. It was so good. It was um, like a liquid cleanser and you had a pump on top that you could put your like cotton pad on and just like clean your makeup. It was amazing. And it smelled so good. This one smells the same. It smells really nice. But a sculpting gel, is this like literally for your hair? No, it is not. This is a, uh, it helps to find facial contours and adds volume to sagging skin. I'm gonna get it all in here. I'm down with this. I actually, I mean, I really like the cleanser. So hopefully I really like this too. I don't hate this because it's enough to probably see if I like it or not. It's half a fluid ounce. And I just, I need to remind myself that what I'm doing is still completely on track with my goals and this is all okay. This is all good work. So that's what I'm gonna go with. Also, 
I won a really cool opportunity for, uh, there was a fundraiser for somebody who was going to lose their house and a whole bunch of um, authors offered up like signed books and a whole bunch of editors offered um, editing services and illustrators offered illustrations. So I bid on a couple different things and I won one. I won a full body illustration of a character. And so I get to have one of my characters illustrated. I'm really excited. Obviously I'm gonna do one from my book. Um, and I can only do one. And the art style that I won prize in that I bid on is not like my favorite art style, but they do another art style that I like more. So I'm gonna get this one done and then possibly commission them like the other three. Like I wanna get one of all three of them, like Ash Reardon and Bry. If you have an artist that you know that does commissioned work, um, if you can leave a link to their Instagram or their portfolio or their website, anything down below, I'm still shopping around for somebody whose art style I really, really like who can do illustrations and, you know, create character work for my characters. So I'm still hoping to get that done. So if you know of anybody, let me know. And, um, yeah, I would really appreciate it because it really helps me to be able to find somebody that I know. I know it's gonna do good work. I wanted to update my word count for you today because um, I have the live show coming up for the spoilery chat for A Curse and Ash in 45 minutes. I'm gonna to try to write a little bit more, but I don't know how much more I'm gonna get done. And I may write afterwards. It just depends on how I'm feeling, but I don't really have plans for tomorrow, so I'm sure I might. I also need to get lipstick at some point. I know that I'm good for the day. So, so far today I wrote 1,846 words for a total of 46,959 words. Get into that 50k by the time like tonight, tomorrow's over, I should be fine. But I've already like hit my 15 whatever for the day. I'm just gonna go ahead and open up number 20 because I would like to just have today kind of record it before I go into the live stream in case I don't make it back again tonight, but I should. I'm pretty excited. I'm also mildly nervous just because it hasn't been a ton of time since the book came out and I'm low-key nervous that no one is coming to this thing. But even if it's just Amber and I talking about the book for a little while, that's fine. I do have a really fun giveaway for anybody who makes the live show, who has read it, and comes tonight. I have a giveaway for a signed, personalized, and annotated copy of the book. So I'm going to be going through and annotating that. Let's jump into door number 20. Amber has watched the spoilers for all of these and said that she was interested to see what I thought of door number 20 and like specifically said number 20. I think I already know in general this is not going to be a calendar that I think is worth the money and I will probably watch spoilers of it next year before I go ahead and get this again. It's a well-constructed box. You could definitely reuse this for something. The $115 value is definitely there between this and the other goodies, but like it's just frustrating. So this is the... The drawer. I'm just gonna open it up down here because what is this thing? This looks like drugs. Is this drugs? What is this? What is like what actually is this? Hold on. It is like a uh can you even is it even gonna focus on that? It's this tiny little clear vial of uh, I literally can't even read what this says. It says bioeffect EGF serum. Why is this the smallest thing in the whole entire world? This is ridiculous. Okay, hold on. Let me get my phone. Is this worth like a kajillion dollars? What's the, what's the catch here? This serum, oh no, 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 no. <coughs> that can't be real. 15 milliliters of this? What, how big is this? This is 15 milliliters. So this size of this, and this is also like definitely not full, but this size of this product is $165. This serum better tuck me in at night. This is a sample size of a $165 serum. Will I use it? Yeah, absolutely. Yes, I will. Do I also still think that that is absolute madness? Also, yes. That is uh, the update for now. Hopefully by the end of the night, I get a little bit more words in, but I just don't know exactly what's gonna happen. So we shall see. I'll keep you posted. It is 1239. It's late. It's, it's hella late. And I don't know how, but somehow my Scrivener reset so that uh, my word count reset itself at midnight. So I have a pre-midnight word count and a post-midnight word count. I had 820 words since midnight, 48,199 words, 3,000 words for the day, technically, because I haven't slept. Tomorrow I will easily hit 50k on my second to last chapter that I'm going to work on right now before putting it aside and going back to book two. 
almost one o'clock on Sunday and I am just starting to function as a human. I read a little bit this morning of Crystal Sutherland's semi-definitive list of worst nightmares, I think is the title. I don't know why I keep forgetting that. Um, but I'm just sitting down now to start writing. I am uh, excited to dive in. I'm excited to hit 50k today. I'm excited to finish up these last two scenes that I have, like chapters that I have. And then I will be moving into uh, book two again. Can I finish working on book three completely this weekend so that next week with days off during Thanksgiving, I can just work on book two. That would be my ideal situation. So that's what I'm gonna put. been in writing sprints all day which is fun I'm currently in Holly's write Holly Davis I am at 1417 I am at 49,616 words so I'm like just at that 50k threshold there's actually 12 minutes left of this sprint but I, I just I want something I want something and I want some inspiration and I want a little bit of motivation so I'm gonna open my day for today uh today is the 21st I just, I, I want it. I want it. Um, I'm hoping that it's a good one because I just need a little bit of, of cheer, a little bit of something, something in my day. <laughs> I think we have an eyeliner. <laughs> day 21. Um, we already had a lip liner, so I doubt we're going to get that. So it's either a brow pencil or a, an eyeliner. I'm hoping it's not. Well, it is. Um, this one actually is one that I think we got in a prior box. I think we got this last year, the Diego Della Palma number one black cajol. And I liked it. I liked it a lot. I have like three black eyeliners, like pencil eyeliners right now. One is wood, one is retractable. This one I believe is retractable. Yes. And I remember really liking this. It's a full size. I'm not necessarily mad at it. It's super useful for most people. I would have liked it if it was like, I don't know, like a, a khaki or like a army green or brown even like something that wasn't black i know black is probably the most like universally usable but um i'm just kind of over i feel like everybody who uses black eyeliner has black eyeliner you know so i feel like it's not like the best thing but it's okay um i'm not i'm actually not mad at that I'm going to get back to writing because I may be able to, let's see how long they have. There's 10 minutes left of this sprint. I can probably break 50k right now. So let me go. I'm at 50,046 words. I'm at um, 1,847 for the day. I just finished a chapter. So I have one more scene that I want to write in this particular one and then I'm going to, I'm going to finish. I started to, to do this vlog and to try to edit it and I realized that for some reason I don't know where the footage went where I was discussing like my struggle with this book right now but I just keep hitting this wall so I just decided that I'm gonna finish out the big scenes of book three move back to book two and do editing I've never fast drafted two books before I've never written a series before so this is still a really new process for me and it sucks as like a type A person who likes to just kind of like constantly move forward to realize that what I had planned and what I thought would work isn't working. I was just spinning my wheels on book three in a lot of different areas. Like my personal growth and relationship growth was crushing it, but a lot of other things were falling flat. And I, I just feel like I really need to like hone in, perfect book two, and then I can go into book three with like a better mindset. And I already know that the character work and a lot of the scene work is already done but um sitting here to flesh out a hundred thousand words doesn't make sense when i know things are going to happen in book two that change book three i always have something that comes up in like my last rewrite that changes the trajectory of the story and while i have a lot of it already planned for book two i want to leave room to like not have to worry about totally revising book three just to fit what happens in book two as i edit it 
and I still have professional developmental edits and I still have beta readers and critique partners and people that might give me feedback on the direction of the story. So I want to wait um, before I keep going too much further. I'm excited to get back to book two. I'm really, I'm really stoked for book two. Book three has been really emotional so far because one of the things I really knew was like the relationship arcs and the character arcs and the character building that needed to take place and a lot of that was very deeply emotional. I'm like sad to see this particular book go, especially now that I've been like jumping around and writing the really pivotal like big scenes. I'm like, well now I'm excited about it again. But I know it's going to be better to put this aside, move back to book two, and get that one, you know, on the track for publication, you know, look for editors and all that kind of stuff. Officially past 50k, so my nano goals in terms of that are done. So by the end of the sprints tonight, I should be done with book three for right now, and I can move back to book two next week, which will be awesome because I have some time off, so I'll be able to get a lot done. 10.07 on Sunday night, and I've got about three minutes left of the sprint, and I wanted to vlog. My camera's off, but I'm done with book two for right now. I finished the scenes that I wanted to write. I am at 52,386 words for the entire book right now, and I have like my pivotal scenes done. I have a lot of the stuff that I need to get done finished. And I feel really good. I like the growth. I like the action. I'm really excited to have kind of like completed what I'm comfortable working on right now. And I love that I can go into a new week and a new vlog and get into editing, get back into book two. It's been a little while since I've been in it. I'm probably about like a month out from finishing book two. I'm proud of myself for being able to adapt and to be able to say that what I'm doing right now isn't working and I don't have to push through that. I can go back to book two, I can look at editors, and I can I can see where things go. I only have a minute of the sprint left, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna end the vlog here. Uh, hopefully you guys have liked seeing the beginning of my journey writing book three, and hopefully you're excited for the editing journey for book two and the process of publishing book two. I'm gonna be vlogging everything. I wanna have a record of it. I want it to hopefully be informative, inspiring, and educational for you to see how I go through everything. And so stay tuned for more in that <laughs> amazing journey. But that's it for right now. If you guys like this vlog, please give me a big thumbs up, click subscribe, leave me a thumbs up emoji <laughs> down below, and I will talk to all of you in my next video. Bye friends. Mm -hmm.